Okay, looks good everybody, so welcome back. We're gonna continue the egg lock today. Like I said last time, we're gonna be going to Iron Island. Unfortunately, I lost my encounter there because it was just something that could have self-destructed. But we don't have to worry because we have Riley as a partner, so he will heal me up as we go along through it. This will be my last chance for experience before I fight the Canalab Gym. All right. Got strength from there last time. Now let's get comfy. Let's get cozy. Have ourselves a good little day. Now, which way was what? There's items there. Grab some of that. All right, no problem. These guys are going to show up constantly. But we can just energy ball them for a little bit. Just fixing my seat here. Jeez, there we go. Okay, Silver gets a little bit. Okay, his trainer's down there. I don't know if I'm in the side that Riley appears for yet. I almost never go to Iron Island. I don't think most people do. Because the main reward of going through it is just the, is just the real Lueg. And at this point in the game, most people have their team built, so you really gotta be dedicated to getting that Lucario. Especially because it's also a friendship evolution. Friendship during the day evolution, which is weird. Yeah, I like to camp, so what? Let's battle. I feel like that can be an annoying thing I don't like about Gen 4, is how it has several locations you just kind of have to, you can just skip. Pardon me, trying to just awkwardly not hold back a sneeze there. I don't know what that was. It's only a palm, we can take it out. I just want to make sure we're all topped up for the gym. We will definitely be getting another badge today, though. All right. Load cell. You can stay in. All right, perfect. It's only float cell. Can't do much. Don't really use one myself, but it's all right. The level here, the levels here are a little bit lower than mine. It's fine. You just stuck to camping. Yes, you should have. Okay, two free items. Let's go. Well, one of them I need strength for, so I guess I need to come back later, don't I? Suddenly this feels like Gen 5 cave encounters. The encounter rate is just, ugh. At least Riley will keep my uh, PP for energy ball up. This is probably the best place I'll get to train Rose Girl, though. I won't get to use Rose Girl very much at the, at the ice place, I suppose. Oh wait, no, that's not a strength block. What am I saying? I just have to go around from the top. Ugh, oh, lame. Yeah, Fuego. No one goes there. I went over that last time. The only thing there in vanilla is, like, the TM for Flamethrower. I can imagine people going there in Nuzlocks for the TM and, um, the extra EXP. Like, yeah, we went over this last time, but once you get Surf, like, there's a lot of places you can just kind of go, but you can also just skip them. Really weird. Renegade Platinum tried to, like, uh, add some extra stuff to make those areas a little relevant. Like, for example, Renegade Platinum adds, like, an extra incident with Team Galactic at the, uh, the Trophy Garden place, like that mansion. I, I like that because it lets you get an early battle with Saturn. I thought that was a neat idea. Instead of just, you know, walking by that giant house. There we go. Yeah, I can't walk around that. Let's go from the top. Carefully. Yeah, thanks for the sub there, friend. Appreciate it. Okay, gold bat. We don't need to worry about that one. Not fully confident I could kill it with one hit. Rose Girl really has been the MVP along with Luxray. And last episode just scared the heck out of me. Also, is it bothering anyone else how that oil drum is bright, but everything else in the cave is dark, including me? It is now. Can't unsee that, can you? There we go. Give me a hint of that energy ball. As a kid, yeah, you kind of just clear out all the trainers. I feel like Sinnoh wasn't the most fun for, like, exploring for new Pokemon. 
like Sinnoh, especially Diamond and Pearl, like we've been over this a bunch of times. Damn, useless. But Diamond and Pearl did not have many new Pokemon mixed in with the main game. So exploring for new Pokemon was was pretty lame. It's like you go to a cave. Oh look, it's Geodude and Graveler again. Oh look, it's Zubat and Golbat. Can't wait to use them in my playthrough. He says using Luxray and Sinnoh. I feel like the... Once, like, the final version of, like, Renegade Platinum is done, I'll play that again for a Pokedex playthrough. That should be a lot of fun. Reminder that Renegade Platinum was the one that also came with, like, the speed-up, like, option, right? Like, a built-in patch that make lets everything move at times two speed without adjusting the music. That was the best thing ever, let me tell you. I certainly wish I had that right now. I'm just walking because it feels like it adjusts the encounter rate. Yeah, there we go. Luxray is special. Luxray is cool. Luxray is overused in Sinnoh on every team because you can't get one in like any other region, which is a which is a darn shame. Like I'd love to go through Heart Gold Soul Silver with a Luxray because you never get the opportunity to do that. There we go. Let's hit some of that there. All these hacks and stuff are fun. Speaking of which, um, not quite a hack, but a fan game I wanted to play with Dylan soon. Like, Dylan was over the other day and we played some Toho games. Um, I wanted to have him over so we could play a game called Toho Puppet Dance Performance. It's essentially a Pokemon game, but it uses Toho characters, and it's really good. Dylan even made a video on it. Alright, here we go. Pardon me, try not to hack my guts out so early in the day. I still plan on doing Crystal Kaizo, though, for sure. I think, like, this past week, I kind of felt like I could just play whatever game I want without worrying about finishing other stuff. Oh, I wanted to switch my lead, but I walked into her. Or rather, she turned around first. I've kind of just been, like, starting and playing whatever lately, and I felt pretty good about it. It feels better than just arbitrarily stopping myself from playing games until I finish, like, three or four at a time. Like, when Dylan was over, we started that, like, Slay the Spire Toho-like game. That was fun. I want to do some more of that on my own this weekend. I've been trying to get all those streams uploaded, but YouTube's taken forever to process. Okay, that's a good gain. Like, I was just telling chat before I started recording, um, I've had the second part of Metroid Prime in processing since last night. Okay. Hang on, is there anything hidden here? Nope. There we go. Yeah, sure, I want to play DLC for games when it comes out. That'll be fun. Don't want to risk getting hit there. Silver needs to be leveled up, and oh yeah! Oh, crap. Do I want that item? Yes, I do. Let's let... Mrs. Hugs get a level after Rose Girl. No, Rose Girl's out of energy ball. What am I saying? Let's do this. Yeah, um, apparently, I was told about this between episodes, but, um, some Pokemon might evolve a little bit sooner, apparently. I'm saying apparently too much. Uh, as a result of making some evolutions easier, as, like, a side effect, I think Pokemon like Mitang might evolve at an earlier level. By level 40, you say? I don't know if you meant to do that or not, but I think it's kind of fair. Not a big deal. Unless there's, like, some kind of council of, like, Nuzlocke pros that are gonna just ban my playthrough from YouTube. I don't really care. Check out that turtle. The council. The council has spoken. Your Pokemon playthrough is cringe and must not be allowed on YouTube. How dare you ruin the sanctity of our amazing gameplay. Get a little waterfall. You'll never see some evolutions otherwise? Yeah, I guess so. Ten people react reacting to your playthrough and shaking their heads. Oh no. There we go. We joke about these things, but let's be real, if you've been on Twitter for five minutes, you know that there are people like that. Alright, Mrs. Hugs, get in there and give him a hug. 
Mrs. Hugs should just be like the mom of the team, where every, after every battle, she just gives them a hug and be like, good job. You did a good job there. Two fifty four. Okay. I don't remember the encounters in Gen 4 Caves being this freaking bad, but... It's been ten minutes and I've been through three rooms. I mean, to be fair, I wanted to get the items because random items have been cool. This may be a bit slow to fight the wild Pokemon, but this is a good opportunity to actually train. So assuming that I'll get a Metagross at level 40, yeah, I guess I could just keep experience sharing this for now. Fortunately, we won't get to catch a new Pokemon. Wait, does that mean Dragonite could pro probably happen at level 40? That would be extra cheap. I'll be pulling a Lance right there. Okay. Riley must be the other way, because it's still single trainers. The working class hero says hi. What are they working on? Is this like a facility? Or is this place like abandoned or what? Anyways, how's the game audio? I forgot to ask. OBS has a little bit, been a little funky this last little while, just making sure everything is coming through okay. Audio good. Alright, perfect. Ooh. So close. Give him a bite. Almost. Hmm. It's Magnemite. Let me just let Maddie do something. Let's go. Send her in. Maddie is funny because she's another shiny on the team, but doesn't look shiny like the others. <laughs> The working class hero waves by. All right, bye bye. Okay, item. Oh man, the items here are garbage. Remember last episode when we ended on a freaking master ball? Let's get that. While I'm making sure the lifts are safe, I'll focus on the battle with you. What do they actually put here in vanilla? I never come here, so I don't remember. Steelix. Okay. Should be able to two-shot it. Not like it can do anything super effective to me. Give him a boop. Okay. Looks like it'll be a three-shot. Steelix does have massive physical defense, so it's not surprising. I don't think Steelix is going to be using Thunderfang on me. It might be like a move, uh, move tutor move or a reminder. All right, perfect. Lucky. Ooh, that's a good gain. Skull Bash. That is never going to be a good gain. No one wants to use Skull Bash ever. Okay, okay, looks safe to me. I'll swipe. I I mean, I guess I could use that for catching things? But who would I put that on? Everything has egg moves, so I don't really want to use it to replace anything. And that's that. I may as well double check if there is, um... Yeah, there's an item down there. May as well grab it while we can. I'm running out of waterfalls. Again, I want my team to have those extra levels, though. I don't think anything in the Steel Gym is going to actually kill me. Because they're more about the defensive power there than attack power, but still. 
It pays to be prepared. Break ball. All right, now let's get out of here. I wonder, if you use Skull Bash with the Power Herb, does that mean you get the defense buff from the charge? I'm kinda curious about that. Yes, okay. That is one use out of Skull Bash, but you don't even get stabbed from it on Blastoise. That's the only thing I can think of where using Skull Bash might be decent, but there's better held items to get anyway. It would just be a waste of a move slot, yeah. All right. Three fifteen. There's no other items here. Okay, I went to check and I got an encounter. Bash it with waterfall again. Metagross might be okay at this Ice Gym. I, uh, Steel's super effective against Ice and can resist a lot of stuff there, so it'll be good. Plus, I got the defenses on that thing. Yeah, there's nothing else really here. Alright, we can finally go to the section with Riley now. Cheryl, I'm glad to see you here. If you don't mind, let's team up. The Pokemon seem to be restless. Okay. Pokemon get hurt. I'll heal them up. Oops. Just put this back. Fight them two on two. Better, I should get into a wild battle so Riley will heal me first. I said, no. Not going back. I just want a wild encounter so you heal me. Dude, what happened to the encounter rate? Here we go. Alright. Now, what does your Lucario have again? Force Palm. Alright, good. You can actually damage, unlike most of the other partners here. Only a little bit. Only a little bit. Lucario's immune to Sandstorm, so that's good. This will heal me up. Because Riley heals you between all battles. Question is, do I want to do the battles as double battles? Those two are hikers, so one of them could explode. It might not be safe. Okay. I can start running from things now. That way safely. Was I not down enough? Oh. Oh well. No double battle for me. Oh, he had three. The other guy probably had three as well. Probably safer this way anyway. All right, take care of this thing. It's just nose pass. Oh. Oh. I don't know why I'm trying to save Waterfall PP when I just went over that Riley will heal me. <laughs> Whatever. Onyx, this will die one hit. Still randomly weird to me that Riolu evolves by friendship during the day only. What was the correlation with that? So, is it something to do with like the aura or whatever? Like does aura only come out in the daytime or some crap like that? Psychic. You don't need that. 
You're a physical attacker. All right. Um, Mrs. Hox is probably still the best one for the job here. All right. Looks like I can two shot now. I wonder if Riolu or Lucario's Pokedex entries mentions something about daytime. It seems like a weird thing to kind of just specify for them. Nice. Crazy delicious sugar. Don't talk to me about sugar. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Hang on a second. Okay, I'm good. Ow. Do a proper greeting, he says. Ugh. Hate when I get the snipples while streaming. Never comfy. Moving to something here. Yeah, Lucario does have, like, an Anubis design. Does it have something to do with the Sun God? I don't know. I really don't know. It's such a weird Pokemon, though. Rhyhorn, easy kill. Anubis is the god of death? Yeah, I guess it is, isn't it? Well, I don't know. It just seems like a really weird thing, and they've kept it in every game since, so nice. It's because I'm beating up Steelix and Onyx in that. I'm getting extra defense AVs. That's honestly fine. Mrs. Hugs can tank a hit, and that's good. Mm-hmm. All right. Riley's so cool, but he's in, like, one of the most forgettable areas in the entire game. He gives you a Relu egg, at least. Okay, um... They are fighting-type trainers, so I should put Sparkman up front with Intimidate to play it safe. I'll pound the fear of my fist into you all karate-style, punk. Beating you would be my 100th straight win. I get the feeling your wins have been against chumps. Okay. Should be all right. Lucario just completely blocking my Luxray. Having a sip of cocoa really helped me out right there, didn't it? Streaming with Coco is comfy, because right now, outside is a mess. We had, like, a massive stonefall. Did I just say stonefall? I meant to say snowfall. Jeez. Stonefall sounds like the, a village in a fantasy world. <laughs> we had a massive snowfall last night, and, um, everything's just a mess outside. Oh, jeez, like, I'm trying to talk through, like, my throat being weird. Jeez. If it was raining stones, that would be very bad. Luckily, the plows actually got out and did something this time, so the streets look fine. I have nowhere to be, so I'm just chilling inside with all the snow while it's cool and comfy. Alright, that takes care of you. Intimidate will cut encounters, allegedly. Dusk stone. Might evolve something with it. Probably an item there, so let me check. Yeah, I know, where is it? Yeah, but where is it? Why is it doing this now? There we go. Why was that so hard? I never understand why it doesn't do the dot, instead does, like, the continuing little, like, sonar wave or whatever. 
Always confused me. All right. We got Psychics, and I got Crunch. I wouldn't say it's glitchy. It clearly has two different effects. I just don't know what the other one's supposed to represent, other than that it's around there. But I'm close enough that it should just be showing the regular dot. Um, bite them and get the item after. If we, we were to battle, your Pokemon would become tougher. Likewise, my Pokemon would become tougher. This calls for a good battle. Wait, did I say I call them Psychics? No, they're Ace Trainers. You tell me where else I can find a place as good as this to train. Psychics have the purple hair. What am I saying? What am I saying? There's a funny bunny. Gotta take it out. Alright. Ooh. You're fine. I actually matched Lucario's level here. Nice, you went for him. The gain's right there. Medicham. Okay. Just do some of that. Thunderfang probably wouldn't have killed anyway. Mm-hmm. I keep going for Lucario. Well, there he goes. Crap. And this is why I could be a bit worried. A 42, good gains. Gotta deal with this. Quagsire probably has Water Absorb. Wait, is Water Absorb Quagsire's first or second ability? Because all AI trainers have ability one. Mm. This is very important. It doesn't have Water Absorb? Okay, I'll trust you. I can drink here. Oh, jeez. Not good. Ugh, pardon me. I had to mute and cough there. Alright. So far, so good. Silver's leveling up. Wow, you missed? The Lax Incense actually did something. Yeah, this is probably why I should, um, not engage in double battles, because Lucario's a little fragile, and this could mess things up really badly. Riley came in here with one Pokemon. Yes, he did. Alright, good. And then there was one. Oh my god, no. <sighs> Just who I wanted to see. Go for an ice punch, maybe freeze it. Oh my god, I got it. Why do you have magical leaf? Don't need this now. Great. Ugh, I, pro I might not be able to take another Magical Leaf in Sandstorm.
Well, stay frozen another turn. Intimidate, but it's so risky with a low, low HP. A crit would guaranteed kill me if he falls and hits me anyway. They can't do much to silver. Just worry about getting Brave Burned on Blaziken, maybe. Okay. Immune to Sandstorm, too. With Bullet Punch Kill. I'm not confident it would. Thought out. Okay, this Star Raptor doesn't have anything that can hurt me too bad. I can tank it. Oh, that was terrifying. Riley just, like, threw it Lucario. It died. He's like, well, you're on your own now, sailor. All right, now it's up to you to finish this. That was almost so bad. Thank goodness I got the freeze on Ice Punch. That's like a 10%, ain't it? And now we're fully healed again. Another Thunderstone. There's Team Galactic, so that's the end. Let's go get the other items and trainers. Who's close to leveling? Still Rose Girl. Hey, there's no playground. You're gonna play? Battle me. Just goes to show you, even with all that grinding, it's still a little bit luck whether or not you live. This dude's got Pokemon weaker than the wilds. Wait, with the way those Ace Trainers were set up, I didn't have a choice but to double battle them, didn't I? I can't remember. I think they were both blocked up by the, the top by rocks. Another Geodude. I still haven't, like, recovered from what happened to Luxray last episode. The critical hit that took it down to exactly one. That terrified me. I thought it was over. It was mandatory? Okay. Can't underestimate Ace Trainers and Nuzlocks, apparently. Okay, Machoke. Should be safe to Zen Headbutt it, maybe? Don't want to hit it with Sludge Bomb, have it survive, and activate Guts from Poison. It's Platinum Hard, yeah, we've been over it. Later, friend. No, oh, pardon me. Just trying to get a drink there. Wet my whistle, as they say. Oh, I missed. Great. And he's got revenge. Oh, not close enough. Blinched. Yes, perfect. I win. Normally, Ace Trainers aren't worrisome in a casual playthrough, but in Nuzlocks, yeah, they can kind of just throw out a fully evolved Pokemon and surprise you. Alright. Now Maddie could use some experience now, too. Can't gym folks use this place as training grounds. Yes, they do. Every time I do, I do a Pokemon playthrough, I always kind of think to myself how underutilized some areas can be. And then I get the idea, it's like, maybe I should just make my own, like, Hacker Essentials game. And then I never get around to it, because I just don't have enough time in the day to do everything. There we go. 324. Don't want to mess around with Graveler, so let's let Mrs. Hugs waterfall it. comes. 
of the double battle, this was clearly meant to be the dude that has the better Pokemon. Alright. Machop. You just kill this easily. Ah, come on. Zen Headbutt just misses. Zen Headbutt's still a lot better than Skull Bash. Gives Blastoise Psychic coverage. Still really cool. Alright. Let's go up here and get this. Ooh, we don't want to fight these. Get away from him. Power Bracer. A little late to be using that. Can't fight two of those at the same time, because one could go boom when I'm killing the other. Let me just put my Intimidate user up front to maybe cut down on encounters for a bit. We've had terrible item luck in here. That Master Ball was like all the luck in the playthrough, apparently. Come on, Spark Man, you'll kind of battle. Free item. X speed. Ew. There's another one down here. Let's go pick it up. Synchronized Onyx. A Cherish Ball? Oh, okay. That's cool, I guess, but... It's an egg lock, so I don't get to see my Pokemon in anything but Pokeballs, and a Cherish Ball has the catch rate of a Pokeball anyway. So, it's pretty worthless. Cherish isn't a Master Ball, no. You're never supposed to be able to use it, so it's just programmed with the catch rate of a Pokeball. Okay, let's finally get back down here and just fight the Team Galactic members. If these lads could just go away... Come on. Wow, I really had to go all the way around for King's Rock. Well, maybe if I end up using a Pokemon with Serene Grace, but that ship has kind of sailed, hasn't it? Oh, are they going to block? Okay, good. Oh, never mind. Pfft. Well, may as well take something out. Until they confuse somebody. Hitting him, yeah, good. Probably should just use Crunch because Thunderfang can still miss, but whatever. Point is, it's dead now. Okay, only a little bit there, but it's welcome. I think I just skipped an encounter there. Intimidate do that? I don't know. There aren't even any new Pokemon here. Like, it's just Graveler, Onix, Steelix, and uh, Golbat. It's kind of sad. Yeah, I had to fight them with how they're lined up. 
I get it now. You're responsible for agitating the Pokemon. I don't care what good reason you may have, but I don't want you bringing any trouble into the mine. We're Team Galactic. We take all the Pokemon we want. Isn't that right, partner? You said it, brother, so that's what we're gonna do. We're abducting all the Pokemon from this rusted-out Iron Island. To share in all the joys and all the sorrows, that is how the trainers and Pokemon live in Sinnoh. I won't allow anyone to defy the code of eth ethics. Come on, Cheryl. This is a battle we can't lose. Yeah, even Platinum didn't fix the issue with uh, new areas not having new Pokémon in them still, which is annoying. Sinnoh was just... weird. Like, it's meant to be a new generation, but at the same time, they were just like, what if, like, 90% of what you find is stuff from Gen 1? Okay. There you go. D8. Okay, we can do this just fine. I'm gonna hope he uses Force Palm on Houndour. And I should be able to just kill Krogunk with this. Nice. He pretty much has to attack it now. Good. Lucario's hands must be uncomfortable with that spike coming out of uh, the back of his hand there. It's like Wolverine, but the claw is, like, not good at all. <laughs> Just imagine a claw that pop comes out, like, vertically like that. So worthless. Alright, let's hope this is a one-hit kill. Surprised these guys didn't have, like, an evolved Pokemon or something. Except the Golbat. We'll just kill... Nope. You just finish it. Oh, yeah, quick attack. I want to cry. My heart is shattered. They're too tough to handle. What a combination. Stop. I said stop. Your combination is so sick. The both of you and your Pokemon. Let's beat it, partner. You said it, brother. You don't even know what Team Galactic's big plan is anyway. Best help me out. Listen, I have a Pokemon egg here. Would you take it? Thank you, but you don't have room. All right, then I'll wait here for you. He's going to be waiting for a long time. Got away safely. The slowest elevator. Slowest elevator, there we go. Alrighty. Now let's get whatever that is there, and it's gym time. Wait, what's this? Is that the Reggie Chamber? Dragon Scale. X accuracy. Yeah, I can't do this without the event Regigigas, which is still the dumbest thing Platinum ever did. I hate that so much. All right, that covers that. Stop the Pokemon Center. Maybe should buy some potions and stuff for the road. Let me see here. Twenty one of those. I don't need revives ever. Super potions for the field. Grab a couple more of those if we need them later. I think it's time I start buying repels. Fifty should be fine for now. Hmm. Moomin is not going to do anything in that place at all. Like, it can't toxic anything in the Steel Gym. 
So a moment might as well be left behind. Place with something else while we can. Still didn't really get a chance to use the swine up, huh? I could just take my, um, hang on. Ooh. Could just take the Mystic Bull, the Sash, for the extra Intimidate. It's a valid strat. Valid strategy. Can't train up movement until Mitang is finally done. Looks like it'll get there soon if it really will evolve at 40 in this. All right. So I got Waterfall for the part rock types and ground types. Maddie for the, uh, also for that. Problem is physical defense. Should be okay. Steel represents an unbending spirit. If one refuses to accept defeat, the path to victory re re reveals itself. Come Steelix. Immediately, this thing could earthquake, so I probably should get out of here. Thought I was hoping for like Magnemite or something first. Okay, that's annoying. Whatever. Waterfall's still good enough. I'll have to switch to Ice Punch. So it seems like not only what they're typing is, uh, are they gonna play defensively, they're gonna use annoying moves like that. Okay, yeah, whatever. Three of his moves are status moves. This should be easy then, hopefully. Oh, come on. An extra level would apparently go a long way on Mrs. Hugs here. Didn't even try to attack me. What, it, what was its fourth move? Probably Slam, for all I know. Is it naive of me to expect anybody in here to have Earthquake? Pokemon Gym isn't about seeing how tough your Pokemon happen to be. It's so much deeper than that. It's a test of you as a person. Is it? Test of my person, whether or not I'm willing to sacrifice. There's the Magnemite I want to kill. I got the Black Belt on, so Brick Break would be my best option. Snap it in two. Only one Pokemon, though. Oh. That looked weird. Is it supposed to do that? I don't think so. An ace has the knowledge and experience of battling at high levels. I'll demonstrate what it means to be to a noob like you. It's the noob guy. Scizor. That's quite a difference. Steelix, Magnemite, then freaking Scizor. As we all know, though, Scizor dies to any heat whatsoever. There we go. Wow, in the mood to sing a lullaby. Am I already on my way? I was trying to fight the trainers first, but... Pokemon and people have worked together for many years. Let us show you an example of that history. At least that Scizor was free experience. Just like these will be. Break. I'm not gonna hit the level up there. 
Another Magnemite, jeez. The people at Iron Island were much stronger than this. The wild Pokemon at Iron Island were stronger than this. Are we sure that the people here actually trained there? I'm finding that very hard to believe. Another Steelix on you, maybe? Oh yeah, we're coming out swinging with super heavy judo chops. I was almost read combos, but it said chops. Wait, judo chops? I thought judo was about, like, grappling and throwing. They don't have chops. I, I'm not enough of an expert to confidently say that for sure, but that sounds sounded not right to me. There we go. I'll just swap out. Oh, it went for Iron Tail against Blaze again? What a weenie. That really doesn't have Earthquake or anything like that. Let's just take you out. He's a little confused, but he's got the spirit. Yeah. Will this kill? I don't know if I rolled high or low last time, so we'll see. Okay, good. Okay, Maddie leveled up. That's a darn fine attack stat, I tell you what. A little bit for you. Steelix. Yeah, keep it out. Let's go. I should be able to just use a couple potions and fight the gym leader. The gym leader's got three Pokemon, I believe, right? And his last one's a level five Bastiodon. I don't recall his Bastiodon having, like... He probably has Flash Cannon, which is a special move, which is not optimal for anything on his team, right? And Mrs. Hug should be fine to solo a lot. Problem is that massive defense stat. All right. Oh, come on, dude. Die already. There we go. Okay, silver got there. That was a complete thrashing. Yes, it was. Time for that sweet super potion. Come to think of it, if they're gonna run Flash Cannon, the Intimidate Bowl is kind of worthless, isn't it? Hang on, I picked up a regular potion. Let me just use that. I think there's like one or two workers down the very bottom I could go back for, but they probably have nothing. It's not really worth it. By focusing on only one type, you can really see the strengths and weaknesses of that Pokemon. Yeah, you can definitely see the weaknesses, all right. Oh, crap. Okay, ability one can never be heat proof, right? Or can it? Okay, there we go. Let's levitate. Get kicked. Isn't Bastiodon's ability just sturdy? Why would a Pokemon with that massive, like, like defense stats need a uh, sturdy? Especially in the context of Gen 4, it's so silly. Did I just miss two Blaze Kick in a row? Good job. Oh, boy. It's gonna miss his hugs. 90%. You gotta love it.
I guess I'm just gonna use waterfall. Should be ah, uh, dude. Why you gotta slow this battle down? Why can't you just get kicked by the 90% accurate move? Why you gotta be like this? Look at me, I'm bronzer. I gotta make this battle take forever. Aren't I so lovable and quirky? I'm everyone's favorite Steel Psychic. Any day now. Any day now. Any day now. I have to switch again. Piece of garbage. That was uh, three bad turns of confusion in a row, I believe. If I would have missed Thunderfang, I would have threw the controller. <laughs> I genuinely would have been ready to throw it. No, I wouldn't have. Everybody gets nothing. Kill one hit. That was a great battle. I missed two Blaze Kick in a row, and then I failed Confusion three times in a row. <laughs> that was so fantastic. Better to get bad RNG in a fight like this than against the gym leader, though. My focus was too narrow-minded. Get away from me. Mrs. Hugs almost died to that. ready to go into the fight. All right. Gym leader time. Oh, that's Orberg's gym badge. I see, you defeated my son. That's no surprise, he has much to learn. In place of my son, Rourke, I, Byron, will take your challenge. He's gonna shovel, watch out. Three Pokemon. Okay, Magneton. Brick Break would do more damage anyway. I almost don't trust using Dig on him. Nice, one shot. Okay, Steelix. And then Bastiodon. He really does have a forgettable team, doesn't he? I only remember he has Bastiodon because he has, like, the opposite fossil of his son. Okay, I'm probably gonna need to land three of these unless I get a crit. So, no gym theme is pretty sick. Oh, this one's got Earthquake. Ooh, okay. Always a possibility I can get the flinch. Kind of worried about him getting a crit. But I think I got him beat, even if he does land a crit now. Oh, I got the flinch. Oh, right. Forgot. Ugh. I might not have enough waterfalls for Bastiodon. I didn't think about that. Okay, I got the flinch again. Oh, does this Bastiodon have Earthquake too? He doesn't get stabbed from it since he's Rock Steel, but still. Nice. Oh, that's a nice attack gain. battling. Use up my waterfalls. Can also swap into Sparkman to intimidate. Hope for the flinch and crit. 
Damn, I did more than I thought. Oh, okay, he's buffing. Oh, citrus berry. Okay, well, at least it's used up. Oh. How does Metal Burst work again? Is that the counter move? I can't remember. Okay. No neutral priority, 1.5 counter damage, but for both physical and special, okay. But we worried about that. I could try putting it to sleep with Rose Girl. If he goes for it again, it's not like he'll be able to do anything. I thought they had Flash Cannon. Oh, you got Stone Edge? It wouldn't kill me now. Okay, he does have a physical move confirmed, so I can just, like, do this now instead. He only has five of them anyway. Just gonna make sure he can't do a thing to me. Whatever. Does nothing. Does Metal Burst have 5 PP as well? I don't think it did. I think it has like 10, 15. I'm trying to be very, very safe right now. Hang on. Maybe I can... Thunderfang would just be neutral. Maybe I can paralyze it. I'm gonna go for it now. Yeah, I'm gonna do a slight stretch here. Oh, that did nothing. I might have to finish it with Rose Girl or go with the burn. If Metal Burst won't be able to counter for much damage at all, though, because of his defense. If I can land the burn, I win. But doesn't he have a full restore to use? Okay, that's three. Or was it four? Oh, I don't even know. All right, I got him. Taunt is your last move? Okay. Okay, no full restore again. Going for the burn was the safest thing I could do, yeah. Nice. The counter damage was something I didn't expect him to go with. I could have sworn they went flash cannon, but I guess that's uh, diamond pearl or whatever. Still worried about a critical stone edge on Rose Girl, because critical will ignore the, the debuff from Intimidate. It was strong enough to take down my prize team of Pokemon. Give the mind badge. Didn't lose anything to the dad, only lost Pokemon to the sun. TM91. Flash cannon. Okay, he just gives the badge, he doesn't use it. Hang on, I forgot. I gotta update the counter. It's been a bit since I had to do this. Let me see here. There we go. Look at that. I just clicked on the thing and hit blaze again. All right. That one surprisingly made me work for it. Bastiodon was actually set up in an interesting way. I gotta give credit for that. Oh, get on there. Poor Majima. I know. Speaking of Majima, I've still been grinding Yakuza 0. Oh, hang on. And it's the Mind Badge. Good going. You're tough enough to consider becoming the champ. Of course I'm tougher, so it's not going to actually happen. Anyway, come to the library. There we go. Hi, Mina. Welcome. I've been, yeah, I've been playing Yakuza 0, and I've grinded so much of, like, um, of the game. I'm at, like, 77%. And I've ignored most of the main story on that file. I'm replaying on Legend difficulty for all the trophies. And I unlocked, like, this golden shotgun with Majima. 
and it just destroys enemies, and it's so funny to use. You need to save up, like, so many, like, completion points to get it, but holy crap, was it worth it. There we go. Still gotta, like, do a regular playthrough of that game on stream sometime. People want to see me do that. Would never 100% on stream, though. That, that crap's too much. Over 100 hours. There's no battles in here, so I'm fine. Too slow. Come on, let's move it. This is where the stuff with the lakes begins. Fun fact, BDSP, um, on one of the bookshelves in the library, they put an Easter egg that references Overquill before it was revealed for uh, Pokemon Legends. Hey, Cheryl, over here this way. Lucky there's a TV there. Okay, Gramps, I brought Cheryl, like I said. All right, I'll be out of here. Okay, I get it. Hmm, everyone's here finally. Everyone listen. You may have forgotten already, but I study the evolution of Pokemon. But the more I study, the more mysteries appear and multiply. Pokemon that evolve and those that don't. What makes them different from each other? Do those that are immature as living beings evolve to ones more mature? If so, what do we make of the legendary Pokemon that don't evolve? Are we to assume legendary Pokemon are complete as creatures? This is where you three come in. In the Three Lakes of Sinnoh, there are said to be Mirage Pokémon. If we can obtain data on them, it may shed some light on how the process of evolution works. I need help from each one of you on this grand undertaking. Help me find these Pokémon that are considered to be Mirages. What are you saying? I didn't get a Pokédex. And who was it that bolted from the lab before I had the chance to give you one? But that's water under the bridge. Seeing Pokémon with your own eyes is important for you to become a better trainer. You bet, Professor. This will add to the Pokedex database and help advance your research. I would have made all of you go regardless anyway. Now there are three lakes. Fortunately, there are three of you. You should therefore split up and investigate the lakes individually. Lucas, I want you to go to Lake Verity. Yes, sir. Barry, go to Lake Acuity. That would take you to Snow Point. The road there is harsh. I need a tough trainer to go. Oh, yeah, of course. Gramps, you know how to call it. You can tell I'm the hot... Uh, I'm the hotness calls themselves the hotness and you know what i was gonna catch those legendary pokemon for you you know as thanks for giving us our pokemon back on route 201 even though i forgot completely about it till now very well i'm counting on you and that leaves cheryl with lake valor the lake is between veilstone and pastoria if memory serves boom has it stopped are all of you unharmed what was that about? No, wait, I mean TV, the TV, news, anything. Look at that. Takes a sweet time on that screen. What you just witnessed is actual footage from the scene. It was taken by a cameraman who happened to be there. It's certainly impressive. Who knows what the explosion could expose at the lake. Gramps, they said it was an explosion. Hmm, but why at Lake Valor? Let's get outside. I'm concerned about the town. You kids be careful going down the stairs. The TV didn't say about it being Lake Valor, though. Wasn't it supposed to? You should leave now, too. There may be aftershocks. Be alert. Okay. So, this is where we go fight Saturn. He's got a Toxicroak. I could just Zen headbutt it with uh, Mrs. Hugs. That tremor wasn't a natural occurrence. I could also just use Metagross by that point, maybe. Hey, old dude and kids, did you hear? They're saying there was a huge explosion at Lake Valor. But I hear everything's fine now. I guess it was just a lot of noise. Gramps, I'm going. I have a bad feeling about this. That berry can't sit still. I don't like to demand, but I need you at Lake Valor. It's impossible for things to be okay, not after an explosion like that. But I have no idea what's taking place. Or you go, let me stress, don't get in over your head. We will try to join you as soon as we inspect Lake Verity. Lake Valor, what happened there? All right, cutscene stuff done. How close are you to evolving, Silver? Okay, just do a couple battles and it should evolve if it really is level 40.
How much land got flooded by them draining the lake like that? Yeah. Not the best Pokemon to have for here, huh? Hang on a second. Can I... Versus Seeker use to you two? Lame. All right, then. Let me just put Energy Ball Girl up front. That'd be a faster way to kill the Gastrodon. Lotzel. They're just big sea weasels chilling out over here. No HM Dive and Sinnoh, they have to blow up the lake. There's no way around it. There's just no way around it. I like how none of the gym leaders in Sinnoh ever do anything when it comes to Team Galactic. Cynthia kind of walks around and says whatever. She doesn't, she doesn't actually care or do anything either. The gym leaders are just like, eh. I don't get paid enough for that. In fact, uh, the fight, uh, Volkner just like cuts the power to all of Sunny Shore because he's just so bored doing nothing. Wake runs away. He does something. Yeah, the black and white gym leaders actually do something. Actual something. Did the gym leaders in Gen 6 do anything? I don't remember. At least in the context of for Gen 7, the Kahunas are actually responsible for, like, doing stuff on the island, right? Isn't one- of, yeah, one of them's actually a cop, wasn't he? He didn't seem like he was very good at his job, though, considering he let an entire town get overrun by Team Skull. There we go. And what even was his deal? He didn't, like, do anything. He just kind of, like, shrugged and be like, well, guess they took over that place. <laughs> yeah, Nanu was his name. He's just, like, tired and didn't give a crap. And there he goes. I mean, it's Team Skull. They're not that tough. Except just, like, Guzma. He's the only one that got, anything, got any Pokemon in the fight. Team Skull's just a bunch of dorks otherwise. Come on. Just do this for the extra EXP. And see if 40 will be enough for a Metagross now. Okay, level 40. Looks good. Okay, it did do that. Final team member acquired. Your silver evolved to Metagross. As a kid, I always thought Metagross should, should have been called Metacross because it has a big cross face on it, like, shape on its face. There we go. And that's nice. That's beautiful. Look at that. Even special defense is good, even though it's clearly lower. Damn. Good physical attack on it compared to other ones here. One point lower than Luxray. And you're there. All right, look at that. So at this point, I think we can put Moomin back on with the experience share. Oh. All right, that's a mime. Let's kill it because it's a mime. Oh, friend, I'm all right today. There it goes. It has a meta X. <laughs> yeah.
I think Metagross is going to be very helpful for the rest of the game now. Alright. Let's put the Mystic Bull away again. I didn't need it this time. I don't think I really need it in the next couple gyms, do I? And... Sorry, Kiryu, we don't need you. Is it finally time for me to catch something yet? Um, no, the lake is drained. I can't catch anything there until the Team Galactic stuff is done. Crap. <laughs> I don't get to catch anything for a bit, do I? Okay, let me get to the experience share. Oh, I can't just hit up on the top for uh, to go to the bottom. That's annoying. All the way to the bottom. Experience share. As for you... Do I have anything... Yeah, give it the iron plate. That should help. Buff bullet punch as well. Lax incense, wise glasses. Alright, we can do this. Let's get movement to level 40 and I have a Dragonite. A Dragoomen. Probably should heal. Used up my energy balls and all that. I no longer have to rely on Zen Headbutt from uh, Blastoise now. The proper Psychic type unlocked. Hi, Vampy. Welcome. Hope you're feeling better today. Would Dragoomen give me fly as well? Yes, it would. Uh, I guess I need to get out my flying Pokemon now that I think about it. Kind of forgot. Holy crap. Let's get out, ew. Make a save. Yeah, there's a lot of locations left, but not much opportunity to actually catch things anymore, is there? We'll have to hatch the remaining eggs at the at the very end if I can do it though. There's nothing in the distortion world. Distortion world's annoying. I don't like it. Okay. For the Pastoria. Oh yeah, Gu Giratina is a capture there. True. You're right. I could just yeet one of my master balls at it. Oh, the idol's there. Perfect. Extra battle before we go. Oh, Cornet exterior. Yeah, that's at least another one there. Hang on. Let's put you up front now, Silver. I'll let you join my fan club if you can beat me. I don't need to join your fan club. An idol fan club sounds like it'd be really weird. There we go. Clefairy. Now I extra don't like her. This punch is gonna hurt, because as you can see, I got uh, spikes on my hand. Clefairy punching. Okay, perfect. Avoid the Clefairy fan club at all costs. They're full of evil. This is like saying you can join my Discord if you beat me. Man, imagine someone doing that in an online game. That would be so cringe. Streamer goes online. Anybody that can that can beat me gets to join my Discord. You can be my fan. Kill the Clefairy. Ouch, are you one of those loyal fans? Well, that's me and my Pokemon. Hope you'll support us. Just so you know, our latest single is titled Jigglin' Pokemon Wub. Okay, then. There we go.
All right, Team Galactic. Get out of the way. I guess I can also heal at the rest stop there, can I? I haven't gotten that item, have I? I almost feel like I should be able to fly to this place, but whatever. Hello. Aha, next stop, Lake Verity. Close to civilization is that hick town, Twinleaf. We can roll in there completely unopposed. Magikarp is weakly flopping about. Would you like to join the Magikarp and flop around in the mud? Here they come. Trying to beat them up. I wonder if I could one shot with a bullet punch. The jiggling wub wub. No, no, no. The jiggling wub wub, the Clefairy song sounds lame. What we need is the Teddy dub dub. That would be a hot single in the, in that place, let me tell you. A better song with a platinum album, that's what it would be. There we go. Murkrow. Teddy dubstep, heck yeah. You know, let's be real, if there was a Pokemon idol that revolved around Teddy Ursus, they probably would be my favorite character. I can't talk. Everyone's too good to join a fan club until they discover the best thing ever. Has no use for Magikarp, worthless all of them. Just train them to level 20, bro, and you'll be a god. We set off the Galactic Bomb. It's a blast. It's Blast Force was phenomenal. A. Hey. There we go. That's probably a good way to get me to play any fan game. Just put a character that revolves around Teddy Ursa in there somewhere. And they'll be awesome. You know why? Because Teddy Ursa is awesome, that's why. Give it a bop. Metagross, wait, Zen Headbutt with Metagross, that would be a very... Wouldn't just a Headbutt from Metagross be like being crushed by it just falling on you upside down? How would it Headbutt otherwise with the way its limbs are? I'll punish you in place of our boss for defying Team Galactic. Here we go. Give it a boop. Ain't it shudder? Oh, you're about to shudder, all right. Um, I don't really need iron defense. Maybe I should swap that eventually for earthquake. That would give me fantastic coverage on silver. I don't think I really need meteor mash. Hound hour. Let Maddie just chop it. Break that puppy. Little hound hours, but not a whole lot of hound dooms. Stunky. Ah, send it out still. I can handle this. Oh, my throat feels a bit funky. You won't be getting me, skunk. I just realized, even when I finally get to the place where I can catch Pokemon again, it, um, it's after Mount Coronet, so I'm gonna have to go through the route to get to Snow Point before I can actually get the eggs. We might not hatch an egg today. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, we might not be hatching one. There we go. Little movement's leveling up. Stats are relevant till it evolves. What do you want? You're investigating the explosion? Doesn't matter who you are, it's too late. 
Things are going to get really interesting. All the legendary Pokemon are going to be brought to HQ. Is there anyone else I can... Extra fights you can do here? Doesn't look like it, no. The mission is proceeding without a hitch. The boss should be pleased. Everything is for Team Galactic and for the good of Team Galactic. I recognize your face. You're the child who raided the Team Galactic building in Eterna. Hmm. Jupiter should be ashamed of herself being beaten by a child. Anything and anyone that opposes Team Galactic must be uh, crushed. Even the very thought of opposition will not be tolerated. Alright. Time to fight the E-Boy. Commander Saturn. Alright, this should be fine. Hopefully it doesn't confuse Raimi, though. Must be enough. Okay, good. I would have been able to finish him with Bullet Punch anyway, but it's fine. Toxicroak. Okay. I feel like spamming Iron Head against Lucian in the Elite Four later will be really good because um, I'll be able to re resist a lot of attacks with Silver. Here we go. Focus Blast, blast from... Um, would be neutral on his Alakazam, though, so maybe I should do something else for that. Bronzer's annoying, and I hate it. Let Maddie kill it. I should be able to just kill it with Brick Break. I'm not going to risk missing the Blaze Kick again. Actually, it's level 38 if I live this. Even with my Black Belt and Stab. Ah, uh, yeah. Shadow Ball? What the hell are you doing? Whatever. Yeah, why does it have Shadow Ball? You, my friend, are tough. Ah, oh, even I, a commander, only managed to buy us time. But that's fine. A child like you will never be able to stem the flow of time. Team Galactic will get the three legendary Pokémon of the lakes. With their power, we will create an entirely new universe. By now, Mara should have captured the Pokémon of Lake Verity. Hey, Lake Music is back. And I need to leave so I can fly. I go all the way back to Verity. Oh, Redeem's not showing up. That's annoying. Back we go. Heal up here. I'm just gonna go beat up Mars. Mars is gonna have Perugly, but Silver can pretty much tank and deal with it. By this point, I also have Blaziken with Brick Break to go against it and Intimidate. Wow, she can't do a thing, can she? There's the Clefairy Idol. Ew. Speaking of ew. Back we go again. Go to Sand Gym so I have PC access. Fly on my green Latios that it looks like I have. Get out the main team, cause Nuzlocke, so you want to have everybody with you. No, 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 no. I mean to do that. I didn't get any good items at all from Iron Island. That was pretty lame. I was hoping to find at least one random rare candy to help speed things up. Oh. 
let the audio skip there for a second. Ah, Cheryl, what timing? These galactic scoundrels are after the legendary Pokemon. Help us, you gotta help Lucas. Ouch, what's with this old timer? Two double battles, easy. Is our mission to stall you? Sorry, but we gotta do our job. In order for us to bring peace to the world, we must control it. Oh, haven't heard that one before. One and three. All right, then. Okay, Zen headbutt the gunk. And sludge bomb you. Well, fake out's annoying. And I missed the Zen headbutt. Cool. All right, let's try this again. Take a drink every time I miss the Zen headbutt. And Blaze Kick, apparently. Alright, there he goes. Now yeah, it's gonna be very one sided. No Pokemon to come out on the other end. And power Ice. Yeah, had Team Galactic not used a bomb, no one would even, uh, know what they were doing anything out here. They can't just get a Pokemon to go underwater, that'd be silly talk. Murkrow, easy. Okay, perfect. Losing was a part of my job. I feel better saying that. You're too young to understand. Too young to understand. Our boss always had plans for the Three Lakes. While you were blissfully ignorant, our work went ahead. Yeah, good for them. Hmm, can put you up front for a little bit here. Give you a little spray there. Let me fix my seat here. I'll knock your Pokemon into orbit. If this mission is successful, we will get a nice bonus. Is that why you're doing it? A nice bonus? I thought you were trying to change the world. Evil team members are such dorks. Alright then. Well... Is we'll just do this. It should kill them. It's only Houndour and Stunky. Team Flare wanted to change the world, too. All you had to do was just give them, like, a million dollars and help them change. There we go. Team Flare was, like, a, a bo both a cult and, like, a pyramid scheme, wasn't it? I, I guarantee you Lysander asked every member to get their friends and family to join guarantee you that would happen. Yeah, let me hydrate. Let me just input the moves first, actually. Iron Head you. Brick Break the Puppy. There we go. Yeah, we're like Verity. Open your hearts and your bank accounts. You would tell them to go online message all their high school friends, be like, hey, I've got a great opportunity for you. Do you want to join a, a team? A, no, no, you want to join a family called Team Flare? <laughs> that face, it brings back bad memories. I'm talking about the Windworks. Got a whole lot of trouble after that incident. What's with that look on your face? You do remember me, don't you? Whatever, I'll tell you who I am again. I'm Mars, one of Team Galactic's commanders. 
So what is it? He's some lovey-dovey couple to the rescue? Not a chance. Not even a teeny one. You're all going down. Commander Mars. Okay, just don't get confused. Let's hit him. Okay, no flinch. That's good. Hey! Ooh, so close. Bronzer. I've been having terrible luck with Bronzer today. I'm gonna blaze kick it. And this time, it's going to hit. Give it a kick. There we go. Okay, here comes Per Ugly. It's gonna start with Fake Out, so I'll just lead with Spark Man and switch back to Blaze again so I can Brick Break it. go. Switch you. Yep, called it. Oh, slash. Okay, stab on that, but didn't get crit. Oh, you're level 40? Jeez, I should have expected that. All right, perfect. One shot, one kill. Everybody gets a little bit. Again and again. I lost again. So first the wind works, and now Lake Verity. I owe you that for. This shouldn't be happening to Team Galactic's commander. Calm down, Mars. I've done my part in all of this. My mission was to transport the lake's Pokemon to our HQ. That's right. I accomplished my mission without a problem. Team, we're pulling out. Boss is waiting at HQ. Pokemon of the Three Lakes are connected somehow. Thanks to Saturn's grandstanding at Lake Valor, Cavern appeared there. Here. It was the cavern where the Pokemon Mesprit lay, uh, slept. Mesprit appeared, too, probably to help its friends. That worked out well for us. It was super easy to catch. So now we've all got them all. The being of emotion, being of willpower, and being of intelligence. Now that we have them all, you can look forward to what plans Team Galactic has for them. I see. This also occurred at Lake Valor. Another legendary Pokemon was taken away by Team Galactic. Both of you went up against full-fledged criminals. The fact that you're unharmed is reason enough to celebrate. What about Barry? What's happening at Lake Acuity? Is he safe? Alright, now we gotta go help Barry. That's a baby bird! Too bad I won't be leveling up on that. Back to get ew. That's a baby bird again. I don't need to fight any of these chumps. Now, which way do I have to enter Mount Cornet again? I need to get out an HM user for this when I get there anyway. Yeah, I have to take an HM user with me, so someone's gonna need to get left behind. Oh, that's annoying. Um, Rose Girl can't really do much in this snowy area, can she? Especially with a lot of ice moves being physical now, so I guess she's gonna have to get left behind for a little bit. Okay, so first I need to fly to get there. And I need to teach someone strength, rock smash, and all that. Let me just get out 71. That was his name, right? Yeah, 71, her name. Is it from Celestic? I never remember what, like, part to go through. Oops, I hit the trainer card, ignore that. Shadow Claw, Drain Punch, look at all those TMs I'm not using. Got 
Rock Smash. Uh, can't defog or anything. Don't need to cut anything in there, no. I don't need to surf there either, so I should be okay. On the top? No, we're going to Lake Acuity. Rock Climb isn't even unlocked yet, no. Way ahead there, friend. We didn't see the opening of this playthrough, and Cheryl has Dawn's ID. Oh. Are you implying that Dawn is dead, and Cheryl just, like, took her trainer ID? Oh, hey, a clown. Beat that up for fun. All right, I got my flyer. I have to leave Rose Girl behind for a bit. Um, can take Moomin here to keep training it to get Dragonite. Not gonna be able to do some direct fighting with Dragonite at the ice place, though. Like, can't use that until after we're done here. It's a bit of a shame. No one in Team Galactic uses ice moves, though, except Cyrus's Sneasel Weavile, I guess, but that's fine. Just put out something else. Oh, hang on, what's going on? Is Twitch freaking out? I just got the red square of death for a second. It seems like it, yeah, it was just a split second, but... Dropped hundreds of frames when it happened. Alright, let's heal and beat up a clown. As a clown, I like to show off Pokemon that are a little out of the ordinary. Wanna battle and see for yourself? Okay, how shall we do this? Something fantastical? See, I like the idea of Platinum's traveling trainers. But they don't feel like travelers. They just feel like random people that just show up at the Pokemon Center. Maybe that make that in a Pokemon game or a fan game. It's like a traveling carnival that just randomly pops up in different towns with extra battles to do. That'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it? A traveling musician or something? I don't know. I feel like that'd be kind of cool. Make the world feel more, a little more alive. Ooh, I like that. Look at that. Sick. Thanks for the sub there, friend. Kadabra, easy. We punch it. Like a traveling idol that sings on stage with Teddy Ursus. Hint, hint. With the hit single called the, the Teddy Dub Dub. Like the TV broadcasters. I guess Gen 3's TV broadcasters were closer to that. Here's a piece of useless trivia. Fear of Clowns is also known as Polrophobia. Okay. I don't know why he needed to tell me that, but all right. Did you know the Fear of Clowns is called that? <laughs> it's just a Meditite. I don't know why I'm trying to avoid the grass. I don't need to. This Metagross is working out pretty well for me. Yay, fun facts. Fun facts that are maybe not so fun. I might as well just use max repels now. There's nothing I want to fight in the mountain. Wait a second. Is this the part I need to fog for? Well, I'm not going back for it. Can't make me. It's at the bottom here. I should do myself a favor and move this to the top while I can. There we go. All right, we need strength. Come on, get him, 71. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm not going back for defog. This is the place you find, um, Feebass, right? Yeah, I don't even have Surf with me, so we just take the normal path. Don't need to get that item. Oh yeah, you can just ignore this place. And there's Regirox Chamber. There's an item in here, though. 
Lepaberry. Wait, no, that's Regia Ice's chamber. Regia Rock is on is in the battle area in the place with the sandstorm. Alright, so new uh Pokemon to catch. Problem is I can't uh put things to sleep because no Rose Girl. Hang on. What route how many routes are there technically here? Let me check. 216, 217, Lakefront. No point. Okay. Hmm. Silver should be able to tank stuff. Come on. Oh, I still have the repel active. That repel lasted a long time, huh? Alright, it's many tight again. Okay, the hail will also damage, huh? Hmm. Just try eating an ultra? How about that? Oh, come on, get in the ball. Oh, and it can also recoil itself with high jump kick. Yeah, I can't attack this thing. <laughs> the hail or its own recoil will kill it. <coughs> oh, oh, pardon me. I'm just gonna cough snuck up on me right there. Hang on a second, let me mute, get out of my system. Looks like I caught it. Oh, I was hacking my guts out. All right, hang on. I don't even have random.org open. Random dot blah. All right, out of 107, 102. There we go. First egg of the day. It only took almost two hours. All right, back to playing the game. Energy powder, 50 points. Let's just use that up. Yep, fix my seat. I'm an elite battler, but cold is my nemesis. Ambipom, okay. Double hit. That won't help you. My defense is too high. This won't help you. Everything level 39. Yeah, everything's gonna be hovering around late 30s, low 40s now, aren't they? Okay, Moomin's getting there. Aqua Tail. No. I wouldn't say I count the fog area as a new area. Okay, Porygon 2. Hit that with Brick Break. I didn't run into anything there, I suppose. If we want to get technical. Okay. Traced my blaze, but it won't help it. Goodbye, squeaky toy. There you go. I'm gonna need Maddie to blaze kick some uh, Obama Snows here. I'm deep in the snow now. I'm gonna have to heal you after every battle, aren't I? All that little extra HP helps. Only kit it up and equipped, any time will be fine.
Tropius. You brought Tropius to this place? What's wrong with you? Do you hate it? Alright, just hit him with Iron Head, I guess. Pretty sure Silver currently has the best attack stat out of my entire party. No problem. That banana is so frozen. Nice. Ah. Uh? All right, let me get the items if I can. Out here. Nothing. There's still trainers up to the up here too. Ice heal. Well, that's actually kind of appropriate, but. To be ready to answer any call, to be ready to accept any challenge, that is the way of a trainer. I don't think I'm gonna be able to, um, actually hatch the eggs today. <laughs> I'm not really gonna do get to do that till I reach snow point. An egg lock with no eggs! This episode, anyway. Why'd I hit that? I don't know why I hit Iron Head. She wants Zen Headbutt. Oh well. Give it the boop. Alright, good enough. Silver and Blaziken will be perfect for the Ice Gym, I feel. Rapidash. Just let Mrs. Hugs do something. I think by next episode, the team will pretty much be set. At that point, hatching the eggs is going to be more of um, a novelty, because I have so many backup mons ready that an egg is only really going to get chosen for the immediate team if someone dies, and it's really, really good. But we should just hatch them all at the end, for sure. I know people are going to want to see them. Fine. It's rapid ash, you can't hurt. And there you go. 801. Woman gets a little bit too. Um, yeah, I'll just let Maddie do this. I don't want a critical hit killing me when I have burn and hail damage to get stacked on. Break that stone in half. Come to think of it, Brick Break Wood is literally just snapping Sudowoodo in half, ain't it? That would probably hurt it. Just a thought. Ooh. Why special, though? You don't need that. <laughs> no, you don't need Slash. Okay, good. Oh, yeah? Eat Snowball, punk. They just threw a snowball at me because they lost. Wow. What a weenie. Hang on. Time to heal up. Super potions just to keep everyone around top health. There we go. I think the idea of Meditite and Medicham being in this location is because they're like... Like, they, they're training in the harsh conditions. That's supposed to be the idea. Yellow shard. Okay. All right, looks like that's everything. We can move on now. I get the trainers. Can I kill one of these with a bullet punch? I actually don't know how Snover's stats are. There's a rest house right before or after the route change, I believe. 
didn't kill it. Abysmally freaking slow, though. Oh, hang on, I didn't get that. Oh, well, I needed that a second ago. Look at that deep snow. Snow is comfy, but not when you gotta walk in it. Perhaps I should change into a more comfy outfit. You're telling me that winter clothes aren't comfy? What's wrong with you? Are you a novice? Or around mid-level? He's skiing on flat ground. Okay, bullet punch should delete these things as well. Don't need to worry about Weavile or Sneasel later when I got silver. See, Sneasel's got no stats. It won't live. I never expected you to be an expert. No one ever expects the Metagross. Oh, here it is. It's lodged just in the middle of nowhere. Perfect. Waiting for it to say 217. I always play for keeps. This isn't practice. Play for keeps. We're not betting anything, though. Well, I guess there's prize money, but whatever. Mr. Mime doesn't do anything but die. Fortunately, it, uh, isn't part fairy type yet, so we don't get the extra weakness. This should be enough. There we go. Ouch. Dusclops. Um, Dusclops is a weird Pokemon to have right now. I... it could probably curse. Better hit it hard with Crunch. I might have to switch out. Okay, pressure, no problem. Switch to Blaze Gimmit Night Slash if I need to, but... Okay, no, it's just going for Will-O-Wisp. I'll just go back to the Lodge after the fight. No big deal. If he does have Curse, he would have went for it if I would have sent out Blaziken. Alright, you're getting there. You almost got a level there, Luxray. You deserve it. Don't think we're going to be seeing any Star Raptors out here. Scyther. Uh, last time I challenged a Scyther, I learned how hard its wing attack can hit me. <laughs> Um, Ice punch it with Mrs. Hugs. Why not? Ironically, Scizor is much better for Blaziken to fight. Ooh, even that hit hard. Stab X Scissor. Oh, that was a crit. Nice. Good job! That was an excellent battle. Alright, let's hop in here again. How long have I been going? About two hours, yeah. Don't need to go super long today. Just wanted to record some more of this for fun. Because I got tons of crap recorded this past week, but I, I'm still slowly getting it uploaded. Alright, here we go. New Pokemon to catch, but hang on. Oh, Cheryl! Um, are you maybe on your way to Snowpoint? That's where I'm going to. If I use Fly, I can get there instantly, but I'm walking for my training. I have no problem with this. I'm used to the cold because I go barefoot and lightly dressed. Achoo. Oh, that was nothing, really. I'm not cold at all. I'll be going now. Here she goes. Is that a double battle or what? No. This cold is nothing compared to the fire that burns in my heart.
Trainer Dalton. Here comes the buzz. Hmm. Zen headbutt be fine here, probably. The harsh snowy weather is not comfy here. I'm glad I got nowhere else to be. IRL right now, I mean. I should probably just swap in Lux right here. About to level up anyway. Oh, did I crit? Oh, wow. I didn't think I'd be able to one-shot him with a non-crit. Damn, Metagross hits hard. Okay, Magmar. Mrs. Hug should be fine here now. Heck yeah. Isn't the grass for this place, like, really far up north, right before the lakefront? I get, think I could probably reach Snow Point, at least hatch three eggs total, maybe. Yeah, oh, pardon me. Team is leveling up. Your heart burns as hot as mine. Alright, time to heal again. Need to get my encounter. I need to catch a friend. That's important. Toxic plate. There's a lot of friends out and about here. Gotta go get rock climb, too. Rainy days make me feel blue, but the instant it starts to snow, I'm happy as can be. Okay, snow runs out. No problem. Bullet punch should kill. I got nowhere to go this weekend, so all that snow outside, it can keep snowing for all I care. It's time to be at home and comfy. There we go. Nice. Conditions weren't very good. Snow is very comfy when you don't gotta be out in it. But when it's up to your neck, it's kinda- maybe you shouldn't be traveling here. Up to your nose, you're probably at huge risk. Just keep going. A zap plate. I don't need it. TM Swagger. You're getting a rain and flood warning? Oh, that's not comfy. Flooding is very, very bad. There are several clans of ninjas. Are you from the Iga clan or Koga? Neither. This child was just buried alive in the snow right there. He should be dead. Okay. Not park dark type yet. Here he comes. Yeah, the frozen rock is nearby. I'm trying to get to it. It's behind the house that you get rock climb at, so I gotta go there anyway. Okay. I used to not be able to sleep when the weather was bad, but honestly, like, the sound of, like, a blizzard or rain beating against the window, that stuff is just, like, perfect white noise that helps me sleep now. I used to not be able to sleep through it, but that was back when I worked, like, uh, my crappy retail job, and I had to get up, like, at 7 or 6 every morning. There we go. Thunderstorms are also nice, but I almost never have them around here. There's Rock Climb. I've been skiing with Pokemon since I was just five years old. Oh, Pile of Swine. Okay. Um... 
It should be fine. They just give it an iron head. My defense is huge. Like, I'm pretty sure I have the best, both the best attack stat and defense stat on this thing right now. There we go. Moomin will get there one day. Probably not this episode. Especially since I don't even need it against, um... Yeah, I absolutely don't need it against Candace. <laughs> Evolving it would be bad, even worse there. Hello, friend, welcome. Your house got hit by thunder twice. Frying your router on both occasions. Wow, that sucks. That would not be fun at all. I've never been, like, had to deal with, like, a power surge or anything like that by getting it from, like, a lightning strike. Lightning, thunder strike, whatever. There we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure lightning was correct one there. All right, here's an encounter, finally. Hang on, I should do this battle first. I'm using the dowsing machine. Yeah, you're, okay, you're just a hint there. I don't know why I'm saving. I should be healing Metagross first. Am I even allowed to enter the Snowpoint Temple? There's Pokemon in there, isn't there? I forget the conditions. Do you have to beat the Gym Leader or be the Champion? Gotta be the champion? Ah, uh, alright. Sneasel, alright. Can't really damage it with you. I guess I'll just eat an Ultra Ball at it. Get in the ball! Oh, come on. The hail is slow and annoying. I don't really have anything to slight damage this. Slightly damage it, huh? Just get lucky and need an Ultra Ball. Just gonna get a drink. Darn. Hmm. Switch to something else in a second. I wonder if Night Slash would be fine to hit it with Blaze again. Oh, give me a break. Just get in the ball, you're Sneasel. Now I'm at half. I'll just use Bite with Mrs. Hugs. I don't want to kill it with a crit. Thunderfang would murder it. Punch. Sneasel doesn't have the best defenses, that's for sure. Neither does Weavile. I hate when they make me weaken the Pokemon. Can you believe this crap? That yellow. How about now? Get in the ball, get in the ball, get in the ball. There we go. All right, time to roll. Let's see what we got. 
66. Alright, perfect. Now, does this house give me anything? Person, a rare sight. Thank you for visiting. Spell tag. Oh, you just got this, like, dark house in the middle of nowhere. Intensifies ghost moves. May it serve you well. The internet was bugged out for 20 minutes. That's unfortunate. Should probably look for some extra stuff. Hang on. Just gonna get the dowsing machine ready, because we might pick up an extra rare candy or two. Let me just get this. A rappel. Garbage. Anything else there? No. Nope. I might pick some stuff up along the way. Item luck has not been very good to this, this episode, hasn't it? Nope. Alright, don't feel like checking out the remaining bits of that, so let's just go. I dress light wherever I go. And that is why you freeze to death, good sir. Why is it that martial artists just seem to think that frostbite is optional? Like, no. I'm sorry. But nature doesn't care how powerful you are. You freeze to death because you are flesh and blood. Made it shudder. Oh, you're gonna shudder, all right. Hyperthermia, that's right. You die. You dead. No matter if you can punch ice and break it with your fist. 28. Machoke. I could probably kill it with Zen Headbutt. Probably my only option here. Um, yeah, I should have... Uh, by all accounts, I should have just walked past Maylene's corpse while traveling this route. Binding may be strong against ice, but it doesn't resist it. He brought a baby out here with him, too. Okay, perfect. Achoo! Maybe I'll dress warm and come back. Maybe you should. Or you die. I'm just saying, bro, the snow is clearly, like, uh, really high up here. Okay, another trainer fight. Sparkman about to level up. What? A Pokemon battle? Why are you so shocked? Bundling up with blankets does sound comfy. Winter is almost over, but I got tons of snow for out where I am right now. It's not over for me. And then we get to summer where I just sweat to death. In the summers lately, I can't sleep without a fan blowing at me. Otherwise, I just, like, keep waking up because I'm just drenched in sweat. The summers have been too hot here. Excellent. I'll take some rain and wind. Those will be some comfy nights. Um, I think my least favorite weather is like when it's really sunny. Because then it's just hot. Not comfy at all. Um, send up Mrs. Hugs to do this now. Alright, baby bun bun, time for you to get done done. Autumn is nice for the two weeks that it lasts. We always act like autumn lasts as long as the other seasons, but my god, does it not. Autumn is like two weeks of, like, 
the perfect weather and then it's gone forever. The perfect amount of coolness. Sea King. Just let Sparkman do it again. Okay, no problem. Give it a bite. It's just Sea King. You can't horn drill me. I'm too high level. You, you are alive, aren't you? Around these parts, perhaps because of all the snow, there are many folk tales of hauntings. There's no ghost types to catch here, though. But, except Frostlass, of course. All right, here's my other encounter. Hmm. Should be fine to put Silver up front again. Okay. Thanks to Risa, Vampy. Appreciate it. Okay, we got Sneasel again. So I guess I'll just send out Blastoise to Ice Punch it a couple times. I'm not gonna have a repeat of last time. Or will I? So it looks like after over two hours, you'll get to see three eggs hatch. I won't use them, but we can hatch them. Come on now, give it a punch. Yeah, this one's tanking more damage for sure. Looks like I'll have to hit it, like, three times at this rate. Okay, that took it down yellow. Need an Ultra Ball and hope it gets caught. Just got a severe thunderstorm warning. Oh, that's not good. Time to get yourself some cookies, some cocoa, and a hot blanket. 103. Wasn't the previous one 102 up before that? Oh, there we go. Nothing hidden here, is there? Nope. Oh. All right, so now I need Rock Climb. Hey, Cheryl, what, you finally came along now? Slow, way too slow. Listen, see how those rocks are all lumpy there? Can't climb those rocks so you get the Snow Point gym, pad, uh, gym Badge. Anyway, I'm off, coming for you. Time to run for it. Oh, come on. Counters taking forever. All right, let's go get this. Darn it! Here comes the snover. It's a nice seat here. Run from the lad. Oh. I thought I saw just a fly out of the corner of my eye. A flame orb? Well, that'll keep me warm. Come on, I'm trying to change the dowsing machine. There we go. So I have to beat the gym. I wonder if I should go for that to be the end of the episode. White herb. So I don't think there's any way to catch anything here, right? 
Unless we count Mindy. No pond or something. No, there's no way to fish here. Burr, hi Cheryl, you taking the gym challenge? Hoping to see Candace soon, but I'm staying put until I warm up. You should know that Candace uses ice types. I really admire Candace, she's so studious. Do you want to practice against me to learn about fighting type? It's because the ice type matches up badly against fighting type. Alright, let's get those eggs out. What I should do is fly somewhere else so I can um, also just fix that. Okay. 103. Okay, they're right there. First, let me make room in the party. That's what I should be doing. We don't need seven. I'm just gonna keep 71 down here. I know where he is. E she is easily. Movement's getting there. Growing, little friend. Sparkman there. This is Hugs down. Alright, let's get them. 102 was taken, wasn't it? So let's go to the end. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Alright, so let's roll again for you. 39. Okay. Okay, 36. 789. There we go. There's the first one. This is what you all waited for. 66. 30, 60. And taken. That's another one we gotta reroll. We're running out of eggs. 48. Okay, 30, 36, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. That was the number I just read, right? Just making sure I'm not losing my mind. Say something out loud and I immediately forget it. Box one still has so many eggs, like my god, what is, what is my luck here? 103, that was at the very end. 30, 60, 90, blah, blah. 107, 6, 5, 4, 3. Poor box one, getting neglected. Um, what were their levels? Crap, I didn't even think about that. Uh, doesn't really matter at this point. Let me just double check that right quick. Pretty sure they were all like level. There's a Poke Kid there. 35. And the other one was like Sneasels. 33. 33. Where'd the other Sneasel go? Sneasel, 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 Sneasel. Oh, that was the Sneasel there. What was the other one I caught? Meditite? Right. 32. Okay. So that's fine then. 32, 33, 35. Thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-five. I'll just I'll just candy the eggs in that order they hatch. Lowest to highest. It's not a big deal. They're very close in level anyway, but I wasn't really paying attention to which ones I opened, or swapped. All the way to the top now. We'll hatch in just a second. A Fampy! A little baby elephant friend!
There we go. Look at the little baby. Oh, wait, it's shiny. Doesn't look different. Adamant nature, pickup, ice shard. Wait, gets ice shard? That's cool. Ancient power, but that's special. Little Bambino. Hatch them all and then I'll candy them. How about that? No, it's shiny. It has the star. There we go. Deli bird. I don't need this Christmas thing. I have to be very, very desperate to use this. Okay, from Nubal, okay. It's got fly? Alright. Hustle, Ice Beam, Aerial Ace, Hidden Power, Fly. Oh, it has Naughty Nature, because it's... Ah, ha, ha, it's the Santa Bird. I get it. <laughs> it's still bad. Ugh, pardon me. Hustle, Aerial Ace. It would have been good early on, yeah. At this point, it's very much not going to work. And in the last egg, we got what? Oh, hey! Looks like I got a real egg today after all. Uh... <laughs> I don't know, I've got nothing. So I'm just gonna call it sunny, because it evolves in the day. From red? I'm already using one of red's Pokemon right now, anyway. Adamant nature, inner focus, blaze kick, bullet punch, low kick. This one definitely would be much better than the one Riley would have given me, that's for sure. Riley's gonna be waiting a long time for me to come get that egg now. Alright. Well... Hang on, if I give it the Soothe Bell while I'm giving it candies, would it evolve? Let's see if we can get that again, get back up Lucario. Just, uh, Soothe Bell is somewhere around here. Soothe Bell, Soothe Bell, Shell Bell. Soothe Bell, Soothe Bell, I know I got it somewhere here. There it is. Alright, now I gotta level them up. First one, get the fan P friend to level 32. It's gonna take a little bit. But this is the excitement you're here to see. Oh, flail? No, 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 you don't need that. Boop, boop, boop. Take down? No. The only take down you need is not that move. How many moves does Fampy even learn? I can't even think of what that Fampy gets. Does it even get a ground move? It gets rollout, but even that's not stab. At this point in the game, levels take a while to catch up on, but there's not too many more eggs to catch. I kind of had to just get three at once, though, didn't I? Yeah, Dawn Fan starts to get things like Earthquake, but Fampy doesn't get anything. Even if you get, like, an early Fampy and Crystal version, which is possible only by finding one in the morning, um, to the north of route, of the first route, 
Um, the best ground move you could probably give it would just be Mud Slap from, like, uh, Faulkner's Gym. Mud Shot wasn't even in Gen 2. Does it get that? In and it's special by the time in, like, Gen 4 here. And now we got Bronze Elephant. Check it out. Your friend evolved into Dawn Fan. Why does Fampy look exactly the same? But Dawn Fan look different. Backup friend acquired. Four more. Assurance. Nope. All right. And now we gotta get Santa leveled up here. Does, does Delibird even learn moves leveling up or does it just only get present or something? Delibird to 33 and getting Relu to 35 while it's holding the Soothe Bell, I guarantee you it'll probably evolve. The Cleffa evolved, even though I hate it, but it's apparently it's a friend to me. Just give a Cleffa candy and it's instantly your friend. That's how shallow a Cleffa is. I'm telling you, you can't trust them Cleffas. They only want to be friendly to you because they want something in return. Is Delibird a TM only Pokemon? Is it really only get presents? The next one of those things someone's gonna look up. Getting there in a bit. <laughs> Let me get a drink here. Remember, Lusamine has a Clefable. That's right, she does. Proof that evil people like Clefas. Fix this up. Just a bit more. 26. I don't think I'm catching anything, anything in the wild, like at level 50 and beyond. Go. I can see friend and Riolu possibly being back up. Okay, two more. So many candies shared. All right. Get another drink. Let me do that. Yeah. Do a bit more of this, and then we'll take on the gym. And that might be a good stopping point for the day, because after you deal with, um... That. After you deal with, uh, Candace, you have to do Lake Acuity, which... No, you don't even fight Jupiter there, right? She just leaves, I'm pretty sure. You fight her at the Galactic Building itself. And... Force Palm. Hang on, what do you know? Horse Palm's better than Low Kick in some ways, but eh, I don't really care. I pick a different fighting move by late game anyway. There we go. Yeah, for the next, like, after this, it's just gonna be, um, um, the Team Galactic stuff with Mount Cornet. I'll get to catch some things, like the outside of the top of Mount Cornet and uh, Giratina from the uh, Distortion World. But it's just gonna be constant battles for the next while, isn't it? Reversal, or that. Excellent. Will we reach the second stack of candies? Maybe. Reach. Nope. Can it evolve within 10 levels? Let's find out. It is still daytime. Oh, look at that. It evolved. Hash into immediate Lucario. Not bad.
Me first. Nah. Okay, six more. Soothe Bell does kind of help with doing this, don't it? I'm kind of worried I might lose Pokemon against, uh, against like, the late Cyrus fight. Maybe. Okay, one more. Perfect. I haven't hatched a single Teddy. Oh my god, you're right. Well, given the rules, only one Teddy Ursa egg would have been allowed to have been submitted. I hatched the Ditto and Smeargle eggs that some jokester threw in there. But why didn't I get a Teddy? Where's the Teddy? I've hatched a Cleffa, but no bear. You have any, any idea how devastating this is to me? How am I supposed to adventure around Pokemon without my little bear friend? Oh, I'm at the end here. Probably in box one. <laughs> yeah, probably is. Alright, let's get the team out. It's time to go to the gym. There you go, Sonny. You can be right there. Oops. you there. Get Mrs. Hugs. Get rid of Ew. Rose Girl can still do stuff. She's still a member of this team. 41, 43, 42. All that's left is get Moomin to level 40 and we got an all-star cast here, don't we? Why is there a duck here? Never question the duck. A lot of trainers to face in the gym, at least. There's going to be a lot of Team Galactic members to fight. And that's going to be extra experience right there. May as well put Blaziken up front. Poor duck. Is this gym's trick floor making you a little hot under the collar? If you can't maintain your cool in battle, you'll freeze up. Everyone has to talk in ice puns, and I just want to slap them. There we go. No problem. Blaze can break that thing. Yeah, send it out. It's probably going to spam protect a bunch of times. Can't be helped. There it goes. So let's see. Candace got three Pokemon. Her ace is Obama Snow, right? Yeah, so I don't have to worry about Snow Warning until the end. Uh, oh, wait, no. Does she have Frostlass and Platinum? I can't remember the difference on her team between games. Oh, Glalie. Okay, here we go. Did she get Frostlash? She, okay, she did. Um, Frostlash shouldn't be able to do much to Blaziken. Can Night Slash or... No, I can just Blaze Kick it in that case. There we go. Okay, what what's her team in Platinum? Because I'm, I'm getting really confused now. There we go. We spend all our time battling in the blizzards of Snow Point City. We'll show you how it's toughened us up. She gets a bomb of snow, pile of swine, sneasel, and frost last. Really? She gets pile of swine? And she starts with a bomb of snow probably now so that she can summon the hail right away. Level 44, damn. Okay, Frostlass is the ace now. Frostlass is a bit of a glass cannon. Jeez! Critical Ice Beam. Take it out.
What's with your toughness? That was a lot of damage for Glalie, for crying out loud. Critical hit or not. Uh, let me just Hyper Potion here. Kind of worried about what Candace might do to me now. My willpower is shaped and tempered by howling blizzards. I'll bring it to bear on you. Did you say bear? Where? Is it like Fool's Gold where I can find an ice teddy? That's not an ice teddy. How dare you? I'm kind of worried about Earthquake now. Hmm. Do this. Oh, looks like I was right this time. The gym trainer actually did have Earthquake. Kind of concerns me that they're level 44. Everyone's suddenly higher level than me again. And here I was, like, training pretty well, huh? Okay. I'm faster than you. I'm faster than you. I'm faster than you. This thing's... Okay, maybe her pile of swine's gonna be scary, too. Oh, gosh. Am I even ready? I might want to go train a little bit elsewhere. You weren't even phased. Like, the gym trainers are actually kind of, like, being a little scary now, too. Especially since Moomin needs to get trained up as well. Um... Can maybe fight her next time, but what other locations are available for me to go check and train at right now? At least fight this guy. It's too cold, I can't even feel my tongue. Okay, Snover, easy. The trainers at the resort. You mean like the double battle cafe and all that? How- what- what are their levels again? Like, are they based on like, um, how many badges you have or what? I don't remember how that works. That's why I haven't really been stopping in there. Looks like I'm nearing the three hour mark anyway, so yeah, I could just like train up a little bit. And next time, I'll be good as gold to, uh, fight- fight Candace. There we go. Break a Sneasel. Goodbye, Weasel. Woman hit 37. This result is cold. Bitter cold. Alright, I'm back. So, I didn't realize how high Candace's uh, Pokemon's levels were, as well the fact that she has Blizzard Snow Cloak. So I'm just resetting out of that battle and going to grind. Yell at me if you wish, but that just would not have been fun. <laughs> Whole team would be have to be completely retrained and deleted otherwise, and that was already putting me in a very sour mood, and I did not like that. Anyways, I kind of have to go and get my flyer out. So I need to train somewhere else. Our Frostlass has Shadow Ball, Psychic, and Blizzard. And because Obama Snow summons Hail, she's guaranteed to have Snow Cloak. So she has perfect accuracy, Blizzard, and reduced... Or I get reduced accuracy. She gets a free double team. Not to mention she knows double team. Yeah, that's right. So it's essentially just flip a coin and... No, flip a coin four times. And if at least one of them is heads, uh, you lose. <laughs> That's what it feels like right there. You get this. Anyways, yeah. So I think I'm just gonna go level up elsewhere first. We're probably gonna end the episode on that instead. I would have loved to beat Candace. There we go. Because genuinely, yeah, that was making me kind of upset to see what she had. To realize I was completely unprepared. And I did not want to retrain an entire team from scratch. Like, between episodes. That would have just been, like, I, I wouldn't even want to keep playing. Ugh, sorry. Like, I, I hate getting frustrated on stream. 
But that was just like, what the heck? <laughs> Normally she's a pushover. Well, at least in Diamond and Pearl, she definitely is. Um, Celestic Town. Trying to think of the best place to versus Seeker people. There's the people to the side. It's easy to energy ball train in this route, but I can't really do that there. There's the people down here that were pretty good. Check that out. It's kind of strange that she has an unevolved Piloswine and Sneasel, but they give her that. Like, that is just actually evil. <laughs> she doesn't have Frostlass and Diamond and Pearl. I don't have Surf. God sake. <laughs> uh, Alright, let me do that then. I can't go anywhere without my HMs, clearly. All right. Um, Fina has got that. Does Piloswine get Snow Cloak? I don't actually know, now that you mention it. Maddie can be trained in a different area next time. Yeah, the fact that Frostlass has Psychic means that Blaziken resisting Blizzard doesn't even matter. I, I don't even think I can reliably PP stall that, to be honest. Oh yeah, Piloswine gets Oblivious, because it- yeah, ability slot 1. Maybe I can get Dragonite? That'd be a nicer thing. And put Sparkman up front too. It's just tentacle. It's just tentacle. Yeah, Gen 5 hidden ability for the swine line is, uh... It's thick fat, which is good. Extra resistance to ice and a resistance to one of their weaknesses. So it's fine. There we go. Even though the point of the egg lock is use multiple Pokemon, like... Losing an entire team to that crap? No, no, no. I, I would I would stop playing the game if I had to do that. All right, and I should have been on the bike, so the versus seeker showed the wrong one. There we go. Everyone has trouble with that frost last. Yeah, I bet. Oh. No, to be honest, I'm more upset than it makes me frustrated. Ugh. I'm good. Hey, there you go. Yeah, Thick Bat seems good on Mamoswine. Too bad it's not Gen 5. I haven't found a single Overworld Rare Candy, so I didn't get any free levels from that. So we'll just keep it happy right now. Next time, I'll go to beat Candace, and I'll make sure I'm prepared. I'm probably going to lose someone in that fight. Like, let's be real. But I can accept that if I go into the fight prepared. Getting, like... Going in unprepared and getting, like, uh, double-teamed and snow-cloaked, like, that's just, like, garbage. <laughs> oh, thank you for the gift in the sub there, yeah, yeah, and thank you for the gift in the sub there, friend. Thank you. I appreciate it. There we go. All right. Excellent. It's just shallow, so I shouldn't have bothered with the kids. They don't have anything here. Okay, oh, I missed. Missing is not what I want to be doing right now. Her highest level is like 44, so yeah, I'm not even like on her level. That's bad. A whole, yeah, Frostlass's whole thing is that it's fast. It's got no defenses, but I need to hit it. Okay. I'm drifting away. Let's just go back down here. Just friends to meet, friends to see. Versus Seeker's not charged, so I gotta go over here. May as well just hit it. It's extra EXP and uh, Tentacle gives special defense EVs. So why not? Although EV training's not really going through at this point in the game, I want to say. Hang on. There's a spot with multiple trainers? No, just one at a time now. Okay, 
one, two, three, four, five, six. Do that. Okay, good. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, pardon me. Yeah, I'm just trying to take it easy now. Just unwind. We'll end the episode with a little bit of grinding. Again, only real issue for me is, like, I hate getting pissy on stream over stuff like that, but... Is what it is now. You all don't seem to care, and I don't know how. That's okay. Hold on, nothing. Moomin's right about to level up. Can I just get my Dragoomin already? That'd be wholesome. The wild Pokemon here are also decent for training against. There we go. I'm feeling fatigued. Okay. I'll grind in a few spots later next time as well. Like, I'm probably going to have to power grind a bit. There's no way around it. Not gonna fight that lad. That's the guy who had the Star Raptor that almost murdered me next time. Okay. All right, there we go. You would have lost your cool way sooner. Oh, I appreciate that. Well, I'm a YouTuber. I'm quite used to people calling uh, me an asshole for less. Less. Why'd I add a T there? Hang on. I don't have a... Oh, there they are. I should have just used the, the antidote, but it's whatever. Floatzel. I'll get her next time. Someone probably will die with how her team is set up, but I, again, I can accept that. I can accept that as long as I'm actually prepared to do that. Losing everyone to that garbage would just... Oh, yeah, just the thought is, like, making me bitter again. Okay, Moomin, you're going, you're going. Dragon Rush. Nope. Don't suppose I could find this here. A rare candy in the bushes would be nice, but that's too convenient. At this point, it would be able to outrage by itself. Maybe with the Draco plate, it probably could. Let's take a look at that. There we go. Alright. Take this off, put on the Draco plate. If the side effect thing is still in place, it's probably going to evolve at level 40 as well. Do I have a Draco plate? There's two, okay. I can't remember at what item buffs are. I want to say they're 30 now, but I know in, like, Gen 3, they were, like, 10 to 15%. And the plates were different and were, like, 20%. I found Dragon Scales, but did I find, uh, Dragon, uh, Fang? Alright. I can't remember. I remember... I'm not sure if, um, that's something I had, like, as a misconception or not. Can't escape, but it's no big deal. Yeah, no one wants to lose Moomin because it, it would have had to come out from the, uh, to get hit by the unmissable blizzard. Again, I said it before multiple episodes ago, but I don't want to, I don't want to make anybody feel bad. <laughs> That's the only concern I have. I'm getting frustrated. Anyways, it's fine. Crunch does a whole lot of nothing. That's fine. Uh-oh. Is this good enough? Yeah, it's good enough. All right, let me heal it up to play it safe. Plates are indeed 20%. Okay, does that mean a Dragon Fang would be 30%? Because I might have one, let me check. If so, that would be huge. People are gonna be mad that Metagross and Dragonite happened at level 40 anyway, it's just true. 
<laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, oh, I do. I had three. If this really is better, I guess it's fine. If not, probably same damage anyway. No, Dragon Fang is also 20. Well, I guess it doesn't matter then. I guess all boost items are, th are uh, 20 like that. There we go. Oh, I, I couldn't run. I didn't want to risk it, because I feel like this thing with a critical hit could be a little scary. At least the plates aren't different. That's true, yeah. In the context of an egg lock, I wouldn't even be able to use a lot of Pokemon because they evolve too late anyway. I think the same would definitely apply in the case of, like, if I were doing this in Unova. Like, for example, if I were to get, like, uh, a hatch and egg and it was, like, uh, Rufflet, you know what I would say? I would say, oh, it's Rufflet. It doesn't evolve until, like, level, like, 50-something. I'm not going to use that. And then I put it in the box forever. That's what exactly what would happen. Especially if I want to hatch the dino. I don't know what they were thinking in Gen 5 when they did that. It's really strange. They were just they were just kind of like, hey, uh, you shouldn't use this Pokemon until post-game. Let's make extra sure you can't. Very weird decision. Here we are. Takes forever to train things up in that context, yeah. Hey, okay, Sparkman got a level. There we go. I don't mind getting stuff early, at least. Alright, you should be fine to do this. Let's do it. Pokemon levels are always just weird. At least in Gen 1 it makes sense, because there was no breeding there, and stuff like Ponyta shows up like late in the game, so it has a reason for appearing so late. Yeah, I can't really reliably keep moving up front, can I? Just put Sparkman up front. Alright, let's just get the Dragonite, and we'll switch games. Thank you all for sticking with me, chat. I appreciate it. I appreciate that this isn't a stream where everyone just ma just gets really annoying about stuff. There we are. Oh, good. There we are. There we go. Well, some people do, but uh, they leave quickly when they get any kind of blowback. It's always weird that the giraffe is even here. I always kind of forget about Giraffe Rig, because you can't really catch it in many generations, except, like, four? In Gen 2, it's in, like, a rare spot, isn't it? I'm to think of it. Where the hell is it in Gen 2? Was it National Park? I think it was National Park. No, that was the one in Fool's Gold. I'm sorry, I can't remember where Giraffe Rig is in Gen 2. In Gen 3, it's in the Safari Zone that no one uses. The Route by Lake of Rage. Yeah, that sounds about right. And in Gen 4, Giraffe Rig just kind of shows up as like a... Oh, I'm not... I don't have the experience share on Moomin now. What am I doing? Silly me. Ugh. At least it has an evolution now. I'd like to see its evolution patched into like future ROM hacks and stuff. That'd be cool. All right, then. Put you up front. Silly me. I assumed it still had the experience share, but it's all right. Every time I put Moomin up front, Floatzel shows up. I don't want to fight Floatzel, because this thing might be scary if I'm not careful. <laughs> all right, take it out. Oh, come on. Watch it be Floatzel again. Oh, look. It's a pseudo Wido. All I had to do was reverse psychology it. Oh, 
just hit him with this again. We are very close. Come on. Just get to level 40, little moomin. Use a block. Hey, there it goes. Come on, Moomin, you're so close. Become friend. Should fight this guy again. Well, that's unfortunate. What about the stuff here? Moomin isn't going to be very good against uh, Candace. I'm going to, honestly, once it's evolved, it's probably going to get boxed until... Until after I beat Candace, because sending Dragonite in against an unavoidable Blizzard is the dumbest thing I could possibly do. I need to, like, have a separate slot of something else, maybe, to deal with that. Okay, let me just evolve the thing, and we'll switch games here. I clearly need a break from Platinum right now, anyway. I said I was going to stop at the three-hour mark, but I'm, I'm just going now out of spite. <laughs> All right. There we go. Almost there. I feel like it's intentionally just stalling me now. Come on, game. Okay, that is not going to level me up, and you know it. Oh. All right. Come on, just give me level 40, and I can set up my capture card. How about a wild encounter? There we go. There we go. I would like you to hit... Evolve, please. I require Dragoomin. I require all the Moomins. 40. Okay, looks good. Oh, wow, it did work at level 40. Guess that's the latest it can go when you change things like trade evolutions to make them easier. Weird kind of blanket setting to get that to work, but whatever. He wants a hug. All right, moment acquired. Adamant nature. Ooh, that's a hefty attack stat compared to 136. Oh yeah, it's good. Inner focus, can't flinch. Defenses are okay. Same speed as Blastoise. Again though, keep it away from the cold. As for this, yeah, I think in future battles, if I can, if I know there's going to be a good lead Pokemon, I could set it up to sweep with, like, Dragon Dance Outrage, but that's also risky, because I can get locked in. All right. That works for me. All right, I'm going to go ahead and save here. This playthrough's almost been 24 hours now. Next time... I might train a little bit between episodes as well, but for the next time, we're going to find some place to train up, and I'm going to absolutely obliterate Candace. Is multi-scale even exist in Gen 4? I don't know. Saving a lot of data. Anyways, we're going to switch game again. I hate getting a little grumpy on stream, but I appreciate you putting up with me, chat. You too, YouTube audience. You're included in this. You're also good moomins. There we go. Fixing my seat. This episode's gonna end here, and I'm gonna switch over to some Mega Man now. So if you're watching on YouTube, have a good night. Bye-bye.